and we're live. You know, I don't know where it came from. I don't really think about where it came from. Exactly. <laughs> everything. Well, and that's what I like about my videos, too. And again, I do everything to differentiate myself. If anyone tried to do what we did, they would make it look so much harder because they would show the behind the scenes stuff. Whereas like, we'll put, I mean, some videos like months of preparation into it and then I'll just act like it's nothing, you know, and that's just kind of part of it. I think that's part of what people like. I'm just like, you know, we have a hundred million Orbeez. You don't give a fuck how I got them. Yeah, I just have them, you know, let's, let's have fun. <laughs> Dude, my son loves that. If people don't know, Orbeez are, it's like a tiny little ball pellet. And when it's dry, it's the size of a BB, maybe smaller than a BB. And when it's wet, it's the size of like a, the shooting marble, the one you'd use with your thumb. And uh, Colin loves these things. He, he fills them up. He puts them in the, like behind the kitchen door that we have like a little concrete walkway to the pool and he smashes them. And that's Ooh. like the end of them, right? Like he smashes up Orbeez. He likes to squish them between his fingers, throw them in the air, whatever. And then they disappear and then it rains and suddenly <laughs> they're born from nothing. <laughs> like in the backyard, the, the uh, little sidewalk thing, like Orbeez, Orby little bits that were crushed and dehydrated now are reborn. And it's kind of funny. But yeah, so when it rains, yeah, he's, he goes out back and looks for the, the pet cemetery. The lost orbs. Orbeez. Yeah. yeah. Uh, th you're giving me flashbacks because we put the 100 million Orbeez in a of backyard and that was that was interesting that took like two months to clean out all 100 million of it like mean, that's like that took that whole video was like a third of a year process because i mean it was i we had to like call factory because like 100 million orbeez isn't cheap factories in china and negotiate and like get samples and then get them all over here and then pick them up from the port and that was like a two-month process just to get 100 million orbeez from china and then we had to like logistically set it all up and transport it and then get the people out there. And then it took a week to film and then it took two months to clean up. And that whole two month cleanup process, we're still filming videos on a daily basis and that stuff's kind of happening in the background while cleaning up all the other videos while setting up for the future videos. While it's, so it's like, it, it is a lot. And that's like where I'm having to learn with management and, and all that type of stuff because I had no experience. Wow. Yeah, it... it... It's super interesting to me because I thought I, I thought Mr. Beast was a dope who sat in the swimming pool all the time, but he's actually a businessman who calls Hong Kong to get Orbeez or whatever, <laughs> you know, and and like yeah. you know puts together movies that need production, and yeah, basically, and we know. have to be working at least like ten videos out because they're such large projects or like it just wow, won't happen. Ten videos out. Yeah, minimum. Right? I mean, because we have our next 50 ideas already. Because that was our biggest problem is we just, we need, because we need to be able to identify the bottlenecks and issues and set up plans for them very far in the future. Because like, I don't feel bad saying it because I don't think anyone will steal. Like, I want to blow up a $100,000 firework. Well, that's going to take them 71 days to make. And then we have to get uh, Indian Reservation and like all <laughs> these other things. Like, it's a huge project. So if you I want to blow it up on an Indian Reservation. Yeah, because it's like a bomb. We can, it's not legal here, you know. Oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> and so, like all these things and transportation and assembly on site and dig a temple hole and then have you know the perimeters, all that type of stuff. But like, so like if I wanted to film that in December, like we got to start fucking working on it like soon and things like that. But we got all that type of stuff, you know, all the videos from now until then. We got to be planning them out and things like that. Huh. A lot of foresight, a lot of planning. You're you're doing great, man. Yeah, like yeah, I'm excited yeah. to watch some of your actual shit. You've hired some adults behind the scenes who just do never on camera, I assume. Yep, yeah, of course. And they handle some of these logistics for you now. Of course, yeah. Huh? What's well, it for like? someone like me? Like I'm sure some people watching probably not nearly as many as I think because you're very popular. What what video would you recommend just kicking off? with on oh, your channel well my goal is to make every video the best one so i mean i would just watch the newest one well actually the newest one was very difficult we went to a theme park six flags in texas and we won every single prize in the theme park oh that sounds miserable <laughs> well there's there's 13 of us and yeah i was just like here you go like chandler you play this game and don't fucking leave until you win every prize and then chris you play this one is and anyone yeah, good like, at shooting a basketball yeah literally yep uh, so that one 
I can't get this goddamn ring on the bottle. <laughs> Taylor, do you have a knack for throwing ping pong balls at, balls at goldfish? <laughs> I do not. No. But I can yeah. shoot that little water gun right in the hole <laughs> the, the whole time.